Hello, this is Bethany O'Rear, Regional Agent for Alabama Extension. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about planting the spring garden, a part of our series for home vegetable gardeners called Grow More, Give More. At the end of this talk, you'll see a list of several publications you might find useful at our website, aces.edu. Spring is a season most gardeners start planting in earnest. For that reason, it's important to have a plan because whatever you seed, plant, or fail to remove from the garden now will affect your success for the whole year. You can use a paper and pencil to plan out your garden, but I highly recommend so, a free app found at aces.edu. Whatever method you choose, think ahead for this year and keep records to grow even more successfully next year. Preparing the garden soil is critical to success. Different vegetables have different nutritional needs. The best way to know the nutrient content of your soil is to conduct a soil test. No matter what garden type you choose, container, raised bed, or in-ground plot, be sure you get enough sunlight. Most vegetables need at least six hours, but prefer more. Reliable moisture is key. Plant where you know you can easily supply additional water, but be sure that the soil doesn't stay too wet. That may mean choosing the right container or improving your soil. It's best to give it a little thought now rather than watch your plants wilt. Spring vegetables like a pH of 6 to 7. Not sure what your soil pH is? The soil test that I just mentioned will give you this information and more. Spring vegetables mature before the last spring frost, at least for our eating purposes. Cool temperatures keep broccoli florets tight and cabbage heads firm, but when temperatures start rising, the plants want to flower or bolt. Spring plants need to be planted with more space than you might think. Rows should be two feet apart. In a row, no matter how small your broccoli or cabbage transplants look at planting, give them two feet because you'll be pleasantly surprised at how big they get. Plants like carrots, radishes, and turnips need three inches separation in a row. That gives them at least an inch from the other plant at maturity. Leafy greens also take up more real estate than you might think, so give them one to two feet in a row. When it comes to fertility, a general recommendation is to apply a balanced fertilizer like 131313 and then compensate for any extra needs specific to the crop or soil with side dressing four to six weeks after planting. Spacing is often the key to a spring garden success. Seeds should generally be planted as deeply as two to three times their diameter. Check the Sow app for more specifics. Transplants want to be planted even with the soil line, and when you're working in the garden, be mindful of the roots right under the surface. They don't like to be trampled on. One of the great things about gardening in the South is that we have so many vegetable varieties to choose from. I love to grow old-fashioned heirloom types, but I also choose modern varieties as well because they're bred for disease resistance. The seed packet or the plant label will give you this information. When you plant and what you plant can vary over four months, just for what we call spring planting in Alabama. The Alabama Vegetable Gardener is a great resource. You can find it and many others at our website, aces.edu. Have gardening questions? We, we have answers. Call the Master Gardener Helpline at 877-252-4769. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy gardening.